Hey guys, welcome back to Embers and Ash. My name's Ashley, if you didn't know, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about how I decorate my house for Christmas as a minimalist. And what I mean by that is just how I do it in a small home with limited storage and not wanting to over clutter, how I'm able to decorate minimally but still have my house look and feel Christmassy. So this is basically like a list of rules that I follow to keep myself in check and tips and tricks for storage. So the first rule that I follow is that I have one storage bin for my Christmas decorations and that's it. If the bin is full, then I can't buy any more Christmas decorations because I have nowhere to put them. So this rule really helps me manage my decor purchases because I'm the kind of person that, you know, I love Christmas and I would love to buy more and more decor items, but I can't because I have a limit. But then that begs the question, how do you decorate your house fully with limited storage? So these are my solutions. <laughs> The first one is that we always use a real tree. This is partially just because Josh and I love going out and cutting down our own tree, but also Christmas trees are really large to store. And like I said, I don't have space for that. Plus it's arguably more environmentally friendly to use real Christmas trees. Yes, you are literally cutting trees down, but it's less plastic waste, you know? Along with that, this year we started using real cedar garland. So I do still have my fake garland from previous years Years, and I'm gonna hold on to it for a couple years just to make sure that I'm not gonna be using it But this year I tried out real garland and I like the look of it way more and again I don't have to store it every year I would specifically suggest that you get cedar garland as opposed to other evergreens because cedar doesn't have needles And so you're not gonna be constantly cleaning up needles, which is pretty vital because I'm already cleaning up needles from this guy <laughs> It might seem pretty expensive to buy your garland every year, but at least where we live you can just go out and find cedar trees in the bush and cut some branches off and you're good to go. If that's not the case, the garland that I got anyways was pretty cheap, so it's not that much of a financial burden. So I have a bit of a theme here about using real items. The next real item is real candles. So in previous years, I would use the fake candles that um, have the flickering light in them, and they're really cool and they're nice because you can set them on a timer, but storage-wise, it just didn't make a lot of sense because it took a lot of space up in my bin. So now I use real candles. I don't buy any of the like, Christmas scented candles. I never buy any scented candles. I just use the plain white cylinder candles and I use them pretty much all year round so I don't have to store them away. They stay out for use. My next rule is that I limit myself to buying one tree ornament a year. I already broke this rule this year, but it was an accident. I bought a picture frame ornament for Rook for his first Christmas a while ago and then forgot about it and bought a second ornament, but I'll forgive myself. <laughs> this again is just helping limit the amount of stuff I bring into my home, but it still allows me a little bit of freedom to get something if I do really like it. The next rule I follow is to only decorate one room in my house. And this is basically just because my house is so small that I don't need the whole house decorated to feel like the house is decorated. So if you watched my Christmas decorate with me video, you'll know that I basically just decorated my living room and that's it. But the living room takes up the majority of our house. <laughs> I also add some Christmas towels to the kitchen, but that's about it. And again, this just helps reduce the amount of Christmas decorations that I have to store. But I don't feel like I'm compromising on like having the Christmas spirit in my house because I spend so much time in this room. Next up is stockings. And this is just like a little hack and I know it's not for everyone. Like my sister gets upset when she sees my stockings, but I don't use like traditional stocking stockings. I just use real socks. Um, they're like the high knee socks and I think they're cute. They look more old school and these are great because they take up like no room in our storage bin but they still do the job and Josh and I do literally fill them every Christmas with our gifts for each other and it works. And the last tip that I have for you guys is about throw pillows. So you have to have Christmas throw pillows if you're gonna be decorating for Christmas. I feel that way anyways, but it's another item that's very large and would take up a lot of space in my storage bin. So my solution is I store my Christmas pillows inside my year round pillow covers. So they're always on the couch. They're just covered up by regular pillowcases. I thought this was genius. 
it saves me a lot of space and I'm really proud of that one. <laughs> so yeah, those are all the hacks that I have for you guys on how to minimize your Christmas decorations while increasing your Christmas spirit. <laughs> if you want more Christmas ideas, go check out my video where I take you along while I decorate for Christmas. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Let us adore him. Come let us adore